Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Swift Elite Code. Today I have come up with another very exciting three-part video series, and it's on calculator. So you can see on my screen, this guy is not really a calculator problem, but ultimately we are gonna solve this calculator problem, which is a hard level problem. And we're gonna work up to it the very first thing I see here is like, you know, you have parentheses and first thing is that you need to deal with how to process things within the parentheses and, you know, how to calculate this first because this is within the parentheses and then append the results. And so I found this that this is kind of a foundation to that where you have to reverse the string be between each pair of parentheses. So how would this look is basically you would reverse love first then you would append u and reverse of love which is e v o l i and then i and then you would ultimately reverse the whole thing which will give you i love you so with that then the second problem we will attempt is this basic calculator one where there is no parenthesis involved is just will teach you how to deal with uh, calculator solving calculator using stacks and all and ultimately, the third part, we will solve this basic calculator. With that, let's go with the string problem, okay? So here, what does it exactly say? Um, it says that you are given with a string S that consists of lower letter English letters and brackets. So there are only two types of things, lowercase English letters and brackets. And you have to reverse the string and the string within the parenthesis you want to do first and then going from there. So, so the way I'm thinking to solve this problem is let's go to my drawing board and uh, let's take a look at this one. It says you love I. So you love I. So we will have a stack and we will have a string let's call this s and we will start reading this will be initialized with let's say empty string right we will as soon as we'll get our first opening bracket we will put everything what we have into our stack so in this case it's an empty string right then next and then also at the same time once we put it into stack we will make it empty it's already empty but yeah then we'll get uh, then we'll get u so we will this will be your s will be u right now we got another opening bracket so we will put u here and now s will become empty right now you get uh, then s will be l then you get O, so append it, then V, append it, E, append it. And then you get a closing bracket. What do you do at closing bracket? As soon as you do get a closing bracket, whatever you have in S, you reverse that. So it will be E, V, O, L. And then you also pop what uh, the last element of the stack. So pop that and append it to the beginning of whatever you got. So your S will become U plus E V O L, right? Then you will process again uh, I and, and then your S will become U E V O L I. And then you will get another end bracket. So what do you do? you basically reverse this so you will get i love you and then you will pop this guy which is an empty string and you will put it over here right and plus it so empty string plus i love you will be equal to i love you and this will be your final result Okay, hope you got the idea. Now let's take a shot at it in the coding. Okay, over here, let's uh, create our string variable, t 
dl is equal to empty and for storage in s and let's also create our stack <laughs> string okay from here we're gonna say if ch is equal to is equal to an opening bra bracket if you get an opening bracket what do you do you let's take a look at over here when you get an opening bracket you put whatever you have in the string into the stack so we will do stack dot append str and we will also empty the our string variable if you get a closing bracket what do you do you first process it and then append the last item so after processing which means whatever you have in the string reverse it so str is equal to string of okay and i guess just i can uh not here but over here what i can do is um, stack dot remove last okay that so right and else if it's neither an empty uh, neither an opening bracket nor a closing bracket it means which means it's a uh, alphabet then you just append it so str plus is equal to string. so you you do have to convert the character back to string in order to append it and uh, finally whatever you have in your str so let's go back to our whiteboard whatever you finally will get you know this guy you just return it so here you just say return str okay let's try and run it all right accepted let's try and submit it cool 100 percent. look at that Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's a three-part series again, so be sure to watch this. Then we'll work on uh, this and build up to the basic calculator. Thank you, guys.